All right, so now we are going to explore how we can delete the models from our project itself and also from the warehouse as well. So the first thing is, let's say, let's say if we would like to delete this uh, example directory and uh, what things we need to do, and it seems very apparent that we have to just delete the directory itself from here. So I'm gonna do that. So it's going to uh, prompt up this uh, dialog saying that uh, this would be permanently deleted. All right, so that's totally fine. So we just hit delete it. You can see that we are both of the models get deleted along with that. And if I look at the variant control uh, tab over here, it's also highlighting that with a cross to the title over here that they are being removed. So the D is over here, it means they got deleted. And also on the DBT end, next thing we also have to do is we have to go to the project or channel. It's already open my, opened on my screen. And uh, right at the bottom where we have the materialization setup for those specific folder or models, uh, we have to remo remove the entry from here as well. So I just removed it. So control S and so it's been cleaned up from our DBT project. But if I go to our database, our data warehouse, and if I refresh the page, you'll still uh, still see that the model would models are uh, still present there. So if I go tables and views, you can st see that we have both of the models uh, still here. And if I go to the DBT uh, again, and if I do DBT run, this will still node uh, delete the models from the warehouse itself. So this is basic what dbt runs performs is basically it picks up the uh, code from dbt project and it builds those models. It doesn't do any deletion to Snowflake itself. So for that, so we are run uh, we completed dbt run. So if I refresh again, and uh, you can see that we still have the models available in the uh, analytics database. So for that, what we have to do is simply uh, delete the objects that we would like to delete. So what we can do is drop, so for example, the first one is table, so I'll do drop table. And then I'll say add, uh, place the name in the editor. And so it's picking up the whole name for the whole um, name a whole reference for this object or the model and then i'll execute that and i'll do the same drill for the view or the second model that we have as a view so i'm going to drop that as well so drop view and i would say place the name in the editor and then we'll just execute this one as well so both of these models should be deleted now if i refresh the page now you would be able to see that we will have just only one customer's model left. Yes. Yes, so that's all about it. Uh, to sum up, we have to make sure after cleaning up our uh, DBT project itself, we are deleting the actual objects from the warehouse, uh, warehouse as well. And there, there are like some more ways that this could be automated. Uh, that could be or orchestrated, uh, but as a beginner, you have to know that the needs to be done. The, the, the dbt run command itself doesn't do the cleanup in the warehouse side. Well, all right, I'll see you in the next video.